Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sandra and it's so nice to have you guys here. Um, I literally just finished the five day reset challenge and I said that I was going to share bits of it, but I really felt like the Lord was putting this word on my heart and I was like, oh yeah, I'm going to release this. I actually released this word, um, this prophetic word um, in our group. There's a ch chat that we have and um, as I was sharing, I got such a, there was such a great response and people were saying, oh my gosh, that's exactly what God's been talking to me about. And um, some people really sense that this is a word that's not just for that group. I really sense this is a word um, um, in the body of Christ. And so if you feel like, if you know that the Holy Spirit is talking to you about finances, about businesses, about being an entrepreneur, um, and you feel like you are you know, an amateur in this area, then I just want to say that I believe that this word is for you. Um, obviously, you can go back and ask God to confirm it for you, but but I just know that this is a word um, for today. And so, um, yeah, I'm just going to carry on. So like last night, um, I was, the kids were sleeping and I was just like, oh, I just want to I just want to stay here. It's cozy here. I just want to stay here. But I really felt like the Holy Spirit was just prom prompting me to step out and to really make time for him. And so I was just like, okay, okay, you know what? Yeah, I kind of had to really, you know, kind of make an effort to get out. You know how like when you know you need to go to the gym and you don't want to go to the gym, but once you get to the gym, you feel good, you feel great. Yeah, so that's how, you know, my, my preparation to spending time with God that's that's what it was like so then finally made i'm acting as though i had to leave the house i only like left the lounge and walked into the kitchen sorry if you can hear that it's it's the wind my it's my door it's quite windy and i think there's yeah just anyway i'm gonna carry on so if that's agitating i'm really sorry but let's just move along so anyway um i got into quiet time and i was just praying in the spirit and just like you know speaking in tongues and um really pressing in and then as i was praying i saw this well inside and so if you don't know like what i mean by well is um like a cistern i don't know if that's how you pronounce it is it a cistern or cistern cistern and um my kids are outside playing if you can hear them also and then i saw like as i was praying in the spirit i saw that there was like this glass and i saw these like items at the bottom of this cistern this glass this well and um then it was kind of dark and i couldn't see what was i couldn't see i could yeah i couldn't see what was at the bottom of this well and it was abandoned this well was abandoned and then i saw um water water just pouring into this well and as more water poured into this well i saw these things on the bottom slowly arising as more water was was being poured in to this well and then i saw these things these items drop come out of the um well and then they dropped onto good soil and then um i saw these green plants just producing and just sprouting out and I saw it happen quite it, it was it, it wasn't slow it happened it happened quite fast um and so then so then like as i was praying and as i saw this vision then god spoke to me about the parable of the talents and the parable of the talents is here in matthew i've actually just been skimming through my bible i actually can't find it where is it? I'm sure it's in Matthew or Mark. Okay, let me just quickly find it. Parable of, of the Talents. And if you haven't read this scripture already, it's about, um, you know, God gives these different talents, um, different number of talents to, 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 to these different people. One, he gives 10. One, he gives 20. I, I actually don't know the correct numbers. I'm trying to look for it, but... La, 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 la. Okay, so then he gives these these talents to these different people, and then you know he calls these people to go out and multiply them. And so if you're in a if if if, if right now if you're in a season where you're just like oh my gosh Lord what do I do with my life and you feel like you have no vision you lack vision 
and there are no goals or you know there's no clarity there um i just really sense that as i saw that prophetic vision i saw i sense and i as i interpreted this vision i knew that god was talking about talents i knew that these things at the bottom of the well that were floating up as the water was coming inside this well these items started floating up and then poured out and then dropped into good soil i saw that these items were talents so if you're a person and you just you're just in, in, in that in that season where you're just like, oh my gosh, I don't have any talents. I don't have a vision. I don't have a plan. I don't have anything. I just really believe that the Holy Spirit, God is saying, you know, the more you spend time in the word, the more you spend time in worship, the more you spend time surrendering and um, doing all of these different things and drawing yourself closer to God. Um, I really do believe that he's going to draw these things out of you. He is going to reveal these talents. He is going to reveal these skills and he's going to reveal business plans. He's going to reveal, he's going to reveal more to you. And so that is my encouragement to just really make time. I've, I really sense that I really, I, I can feel that God is saying that he's, he's nudging some of us. He's, he's tapping us on the shoulder and he's saying, make time for me. You are not going to be able to know the vision you're not going to be able to to identify these talents you're not going to be able to sit down and download this business plan that god is trying to really sow into your spirit really drop into your spirit if you're actually not going to make time and listen to the holy spirit when he prompts you to step away when he prompts you to step outside and spend time with him because when you you know in your word when you're praying and when you're doing all these different things you're opening up a door and allowing him to speak to you. And that's the way we got to do it. So I saw, you know, this living water, this living water was the word of God. This living water was the presence of God. This living water was like prayer. And so I just really want to encourage you um, to really take this word. If this speaks to you, if this is you, then take hold of it. I really do believe that I am speaking to entrepreneurs. If you're, if, if you're tuning in and God has been speaking to you about business, if God has been speaking to you about advancing the kingdom of God, if God has been speaking to you about um, being an entrepreneur, I really, I, by faith, I am declaring this and I am saying that I believe that you, this is for you. Like this is, this is a word. Like this is literally a word from God. This is not my word. I'm not coming to you saying that I, Sandra thinks you're going to be a businesswoman. Sandra thinks you're going to receive a business plan. No, I really do believe that this is the word from God. This is a word from God. And, <clears throat> and I just kept on hearing, like I keep on hearing, um, problem solver you are going to be um, this people that are tuning in that are going you're going to solve problems you're going to solve problems <clears throat> that is what your business plan is going to be um, as you're going to be um, a problem solver and I really do believe that as Christians and I know this we are problem solvers we know the answer to this broken world and I believe that the Holy Spirit is going to um, use your business build a business in you um, and there are businesses in you that are going to go out there and solve problems for many people and so if this is if you know that the Holy Spirit is moving and speaking to you sis I just want to say take hold of this word stand on his word pray into this Talk to the Holy Spirit. Let him lead you. Let him guide you. Um, and know it is by faith. It is by faith that we. I am sharing this vlog. It is by faith that you are taking hold of this word. It is by faith that you are standing on scripture. It is by faith that you believe that this business plan, that this entrepreneur within you is going to come out, is going to float out, up out of this well, drop into good soil. And I just wanted to talk about this um, other this other scripture. scripture. Um, there's a scripture in the Word, and it talks about um, seeds. Um, and basically, I know you guys know. I know if you if you, if you know your Word, you know what scripture I'm talking about. I just can't be bothered jumping online. Actually, I'm going to jump online. Just bear with me as I jump online. I'm going to do this real quick, and I'm gonna I'm gonna share. I'm gonna share what the scripture says because I want you to really take hold of the seed that God is dropping into your spirit right now. 
And um, I'm really excited for this word, eh? I, I really believe, like, if if you are catching on to what the Holy Spirit is doing, the reason why he's dropping these business plans and all these different things into your spirit is because, honestly, guys, he is preparing you. He is preparing you for the future. Like, yes, it's common sense, yeah, obviously. But do you know what I mean? Like, he's really preparing you. There's a reason why he's talking to you now. Write it on your vision board. Write it on your vision board. So I'm literally going to, I'm online now. I'm going to go and look for seeds um seeds scriptures let's see what it says what does the bible say about da, 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 da the point is this whoever sows sparingly will reap sparingly do not be God is not mocked. In the morning, you sow your seed at evening. Now the parable is this. The seed is the word of God. Amen, amen, amen. It's the word. The word of God. Amen. I saw when I sow a seed. Ooh, Luke 8 verse 5. We found it. Let's quickly look for it. Luke 8 verse 5. Luke 8 verse 5. Luke 8 verse 5. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, let's have a read. Parable of the farmer scattering seed. Stay with me, sister. Stay with me. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. A farmer went out to plant his seed. As he scattered it across his field, some seed fell on a footpath where it was stepped on and the birds ate it. Other seed fell among rocks. It began to grow, but the plant soon wilted and died for lack of moisture. Other seed fell among thorns that grew up with it and choked out the tender plants. Still, other seed fell on fertile soil. This seed grew and produced a crop that was a hundred times as much as had been planted. When he had had said this he called out anyone with ears to hear should listen and understand his disciples asked him what this parable meant he replied you are permitted to understand the secrets of the kingdom of god but i use parables to teach the others so that the scriptures might be fulfilled when they look they won't really see when they hear they won't understand this is the meaning of the parable the seed is god's word the seeds that fell on the footpath represent those who hear the message only to have the devil come and take it away from their hearts and prevent them from believing and being saved the seeds on the rocky soil represent those who hear the message and receive it with joy but since they don't have deep roots they believe for a while then they fall away when they face temptation the seeds that fell among the thorns thorns represent those who hear the message but all too quickly the message is crowded out by the cares and riches and pleasures of this life and so they never grow in, into maturity and the seeds that fell on the good soil represent honest good-hearted people who hear God's word cling to it and patiently produce a huge harvest when you go back to the parable of the talents it says God says I want you to go out and multiply and I'm right now I am so I am speaking to you and I'm also speaking to the Holy Spirit is speaking to me and the Holy Spirit is speaking to you. I'm really excited for this word. I am really excited for this word. You should be excited for this word. If this is you, if God is talking to you about this, like God is pretty much saying, I want to do business with you. That is exciting. And I just wanted to speak to those like, you know, if you're an amateur and if you're just like, whoa, how, I, Lord. No, you got the wrong guy. No, 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 no. This is where he's going to be revealing his miracles, man. This is where we're in. We're, this is a. This is where we want to be. We want to be in this field. We want. We don't even know where we're going, Lord, but we are going to follow you. It's an exciting time. We have no idea where we're going, but Lord, I am following you. Just that it took so much faith for Abraham to leave what he had known as his comfort, as home. He left that place and he, it was by faith that he left this place. It was by faith that he stayed in this new land that the Lord had given him. And so I'm just really believing that whew, this is an entire word and I don't know about you, but I'm going to receive this word. And so... I just hope you're encouraged. Be encouraged, man. Go spend some time with the Lord. When he taps you on the shoulder, sis, go and listen to him. So that's the word, guys. Short, sweet, and simple. And so thank you so much for joining me, fam. I hope you guys are really, I hope you guys are well. Um, I think we're going to share more prophetic words on here. Whatever the Holy Spirit just drops on my spirit. 
drop some drop some me i'm just going to share it um in obedience and just allow that word to just do its thing do its thing so thanks once again for tuning in um yeah we'll see you guys later bye